I mean, really, you know, I, t- I know it's, it's the same every year, but honestly, the absolute tosh that is available for you to spend your money on this year when you can't buy, you either can't find the right clothes for somebody or the records are run out or you don't want to buy a remix, a kind of Ice Cube rip-off album, more of which later, or this, you know, Galliano remix. is all the kind of stuff that... And you just think, oh, I'll get them a gift. So you go to a gift shop and what are you, surrounded by crescent moons and gold cherubs and gold seahorses and... Uh, Chrome, yeah, chrome and coloured coloured glass. Here. Chrome coloured glass bath rubbish. Mm. I mean, for, you know, this like uh, coloured glass with all these dark blues and yellows, these strong colours. And you're supposed to go in there and go, oh yeah, oh, that's really clever. It's like a cocktail glass, only it's solid. So I'll put it down in my bathroom. And then, you know, people will kind of, uh, well, it'll increase my social currency. Friends will look at me and they'll look at it. And they'll look from it to me and they'll equate us in some way subconsciously and therefore I will become better. Oh, give me that glass. Oh, give me that glass. It's look at just this, this chrome shops, like, was an obsession <laughs> box and... Oh, God, yeah, yeah. revelations. It's drone. Drone, yeah. 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 I mean, look at this, like, the, the little, like, chrome salt cellars and, you know, like, some, some little chrome bollock dish to place your testicles and penis in when you're lying in bed, you know. And this bath stuff as well. You know, the, the oh, whole God. idea that, you know, the bathroom, you turn up the lights in the bathroom, you put out loads of candles, you get a lot of steam going, you have the bath right up to your neck, right up to the edge of the bath, and you lie down, and then there's all these products you can... Look at you this. idiot! Look at it! Felt Why did it. I buy that? Because you are a sad bastard who <laughs> fell for that marketing. Go on, describe it. Well, describe I mean, this, it. this, right, this is like a sort of a chrome bath tray that goes, a bath rack that sort of, like, bent, sort of pre-aged, sort of falsely aged metal that goes across your chest in the bath, you know, and like, you know, a little, little, like, what's this, little wine glass tray there, you see that? That is a wine glass sort of tray. Thing. A little wine glass tray, and there's a little oh. recess for your book as well. You can have oh, it's quite seductive, Peter. Yes, oh. isn't it nice, yes. What, what kind of book would you be reading, then? Oh, Wild Swans, I would imagine, yes. Wanker. Yes, and like little, oh, look at this little crescent moon-shaped candlestick area crescent here. Crescent moon. To the left. It's got a seahorse on it as well. Oh, yes, and a cherub, probably. It's got little wells to put my aromatherapy in. Of course. Oh, I feel a bath coming on. Do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to turn oh. off the lights, I'd like to get up a big steam, and I think I'd like to listen to some opera. Oh, yes. Just lie back in the water. And look, look at this. Look, I got a bubble bath here, right? And, um, it's got some special smell of knowledge and understanding balls in it. They're shaped like crescent moons as well. And you get this, look, this, this special beard and glasses to put on the bubble bath. So it's wise foam. Oh, wise foam. A nice taps. You see the taps on mine? Yeah. Little crying dolphin taps. Beautiful. One of a range of endangered species taps that blub water into your bath as you're lying there. Oh, Peter, what other animals have you got there? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps a hammerhead horse. And oh, what about these sweating cherub taps? They're my favourite. Oh, nice. Oh, I want a sweating thing. cherub seahorse tap. And uh, for drying me out when I get out of the bath, I want a, a big mechanical manatee that beckons me out of the bath. It's all made of toweling. It beckons, it cradles and dries. Yes, yes. Yes. And how about this? How about a nice towel storm cubicle? Uh-huh. You step in, you shut the door, you press a button, towels fly up past you, dry your body. Oh, I want to change the music. Let's have some Michael Nyman. <gasps> and we can play this game, this floating game, look. Oh, yes, lovely floating Botticelli. Botticelli yes. in the bath. Should we play? Yes. Why don't you ask me some questions about myself, Chris, and I'll tell you who I am. Okay, right, Peter. Are yes. you 20th century? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you work in films? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, uh, do you write films? Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, you're not Richard Curtis, are you? Yes! Oh, God, may I say, Richard, that you're a genius and Four Weddings and a Funeral was marvellous. Thanks, yes. And do you know what I really love about the Vicar of Dibley? What? Apart from the fact it's so funny and heartwarming, all the characters are so real. Absolutely. And, uh, whilst you're playing Botticelli in the bath, you can learn about yourself. Do you know how? How? By pissing in the water. <gasps> There's a special dye, and they come out of crescent moon-shaped tablets as well. And they reveal secrets about your character. There are three colours here. There's Equinox, Sargasso, and Little John. You know, the brilliant blue piss water of Little John, I'm reading from the instruction now, means that you have inward-facing tears, and your inner seahorse is being attacked by whore shrimps. Oh, look! Look, the black Sargasso collar. That means I'm outgoing. <gasps> How What's that? Nice bath bib. That's a bath bib. A lovely bath bib. Oh, God. You put over your head. You put it, floats on the surface of the water, covers in the entire surface of the bath. You're surrounded by a little world environment. Like what? Yes, like, full of, full of lovely things like little miniature sea otters. Isn't that lovely? Oh, let me change the music. <gasps> a bit of foray. So you've got a bath bib on. Mm-hmm. You've got an environment surrounding you. Hey, look at this, look. An African bath bib. It's called mm-hmm. African Swamp Dawn. And through the mist of your own bath is revealed the magic of a dark continent. A polythene-sealed liquid photochemical backdrop breathtakingly recreates the golden iridescence of the sun god's magic awakening. Night creatures scurry for cover, as does a crescent moon. 
At the margins of your bath bib, little reeds quiver as tiny ibis emerge looking for clams. A miniature African lady brings her washing to the still cool water. A distant hippo splash sent egrets skimming low over the water towards us. Skim you like sprites, you beauty birds, while above we are bewitched with the dreamy poetry of flamingos in flight. Oh, and on the bank, a mad elephant jumps gleefully up and down on all fours. Boing, boing, boing. He's up there on the bath ledge. Hey, Peter, what's that? That's a little duvet for my candles. What? Because they're all tired when they finish. Oh, hooray! <laughs>